Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today at Castle Coombe alongside both Four Stroke Media and V-Box Race Logic. We're here today, of course, with the Golfer. It's first track day with the new interior build. I have been so excited for this day. In fact, I only collected the car less than a week ago now, so it was straight out book a track day um, and get out on and track and see what it is like. Now today, as I mentioned, I'm here alongside Four Stroke Media and also Race Logic. Um, and of course, we do have the Performance Box Touch all linked up inside the car. You guys have probably seen it in action on all the track days I've done with this thing. So we'll hop in, get it warmed up, get out on track and show you everything there is to know about that and also see what this thing can do around the track here at Castle Coop. Okay, getting a little bit more used to getting in and out of this thing now. Um, so yeah, since we were here at Castle Coombe, and in fact, since I was on track, a lot has been done to this car. Unfortunately, not a lot has been done about my stupid helmet. So that's still a thing, unfortunately. Um, do need to get a proper one, because I look stupid with this. So hold back your comments, that's all I can say. Anyway, it is what time? Nearly midday. Only 11 and a half degrees, which is good. And as you can see in the middle, the performance box touch all set up. As Soon as you turn it on, the satellites actually recognize that you're here at Castle Coombe. Of course, I've got it on the uh, time lap for now. You can, of course, do speed. You guys may remember the Autobahn video I did with the M140i, where, of course, we hit 188.9, um, but we'll have lap timing mode, of course, on for today. Loads of different things you can do on that. And it's all pretty plug and play which is awesome. Okay, make sure nothing's coming, which there isn't. And here we are. I forgot to turn traction off, so I need to do that. There we go. <laughs> it is good to be officially on a track with this car. Of course, we have the Cup 2s fitted to the car now. I do really enjoy this track now. At first, when I first did Castle Coombe, I admit, I didn't really enjoy it. But now, brilliant track, especially on a day like today. The track is really quiet, which is nice. Keep it in fourth round here. Nothing special. 
was a 118.4. And now the significance of that is the first track day I did in this car, like I mentioned in the intro, was at Castle Coombe. And my fastest lap from the day was a 124.4, I believe. So a hefty amount shaved off. I believe it was around the same conditions in terms of weather. And yeah, that is really quite impressive. Of course, I had the stock suspension on the car at the time. Um, and yeah, a lot of stuff wasn't done to the car where it obviously now is. But this cage, honestly, the sense of theatre in this thing is absolutely remarkable. It is astonishing how emotional it is in here. You've got all the noises, you've got all the creaks and everything. Things which, on a standard car, you'd hate. But on a fully stripped out track record like this, it just adds to the theatre. It is absolutely epic. I mean, 7,000. Ah, oh, it is unbelievable. <laughs> it's just so much fun. The car is finally at home. Finally at home. session clear out on track and planted. It's my 
play for a fall on this track. Keep it in fourth. Down to third. Bit of brakes while the car's straight. the track days that are to come with this and a definite trip to the Nürburgring definite trip to the Nürburgring now behind me who's just going to come past is Jamie from Officially Gassed and now we've got a target <laughs> to happen didn't it he's only gonna break something luckily it's nothing actually that major and it's actually something which has happened before unfortunately the coil packs have decided to let go on the car um, it's actually been a couple of hours since i had done uh, the session which you've just seen as you can also hear there's still cars out on track the day is still very much young but unfortunately the day is done for me i was hoping to do another session just kind of towards the end of the day once i got used to the car and had a bit of fun taking some friends out but unfortunately when i was taking one of my friends out the core packs decided to die now this actually like i said has happened before it actually happened on my first track day i think like i said it's nothing major nothing seriously broken i mean i did have a little um hose come off uh, of the catch can not the actual catch can hose luckily but just one of the um, breeder pipes but yeah i mean it's been a great day nonetheless i mean the guys down at four stroke media and race logic have put on an absolutely incredible day pretty much near enough having castle cream to yourself i mean yes there's a car there are cars here but not really that many at all it's been absolutely brilliant it's been great to have the performance box touch in action again to see the lap times uh, compared to the last time i was here when this car was pretty much bone stock um, you can of course find all the details down in the description down below to the performance box touch and also v-box and everything to do with what they offer um, but yeah that is it for me today unfortunately not the best ending but at least i can still drive at home just in limp mode we love that but yeah like i said that's it for me today i hope you guys have enjoyed if you have please make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures start to come 